Valentina into this pick to be using up as a utility mage. Wow, that is actually pretty, pretty aggressive. Now, we do want to break down these two drafts by Team Liquid. Especially if you don't have any items that can chunk down his Five HP quickly. I didn't even have the, the sword, but Smash anything can happen. Expect the unexpected. We have team that yep. against Mad Bulls. And let's head on straight into the Land of Dawn. Exactly. Now, talking back into this, this draft picks right here, let's see towards like, look at it, how the rotation from uh, both Lovely and wait, Maniac wait, on the top lane trying to Go, go over with some cutting lanes in very first place, <laughs> but eventually, what? Sanford! Um, I guess, um, Teresa, I, I guess Nameless can die. <laughs> Teresa. I'm not sure. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not sure what happens up there, but... Uh, wow. It, it, it is what it is, I guess. Now, now JP going in for the disruption. As Tigros usually do, but Justinian is just gonna be able to take this off. Will JP survive yep. this? I oh he no, does. he's gonna be, be pulled back oh. as well, but now Justinian uh, was able to make it alive. Alright, he's fine. He's yeah, pretty but, pretty fine. Yeah, but the first death that Maniac took is probably gonna put him on the back foot as we see right now, Sanford. Okay, he's actually looking pretty okay, but the attempted lane cut will be putting him at a level disadvantage, and that's something we really don't want to have against the Turisla. Mm -hmm, exactly. But yeah, we, when, we, when we all uh, spoke about how Thamos was able to pull off the early game pressure in the laning phase against Terizla, it doesn't really work out that well as we speak, but now it's back. Sanford has been chunked up a little bit low, forcing out the flicker, and that probably is going to be ensuring the first turtle, probably oh, for team Mapling, but Sanji right oh. there! First blood! Oh no, it's actually a fir uh, first blood, slave for blood, first blood. blood. <laughs> second blood for Mad Bulls. And now, right now, Sanford could not even make a move. Might as well as giving up the first turtle over to Justinian right here, unless Kal TZ want to go for a steal? Probably? Uh, nah, he's too late. Uh, I don't yep, think he's... he has enough energy to fly over, especially since like he's just taking his purple buff. But mm -hmm. that might not be that might not be like too bad because he still has space for patience. But that is the yep. reprieve that Miniac so desperately needed, uh, especially since using that first game in well, ma might I say the first minute of the game? I think that that yep. might be a, that might be a record for the series. <laughs> but yep, uh, with, exactly. with that equalizer, I think he's going to be be, be put on an equal footing right now. Yep, exactly. So right now, speaking of which. They are playing the the I think that was the original strategy. They would like to go for it. I I, I assume because they are going to for, to secure the early game pressure. I mean in terms of uh, um, the resources and also with the, the aggression to ensure the early game was played well against this uh scaling matchup. So I, I think that was Madbo's original plan and they worked out well so far, but now it's JP has now spotted four members onto the Mad Bulls era. And now, oh. Implosion coming in, JP for out of Flicker as well, oh. he pushed his back, but the Implosion could not save the day. Now, now, Benacuti tried to make some plays against the four, but it's okay, they're gonna just fall back. Well, I guess that is some profit for Mad Bulls. I think they were looking for more, but speaking about profit, here comes Sanford with the penalty zone. Maniac ain't going down anytime soon, and how easy with the tables of blades. Hope, hope, hope he ain't dying. Oh, wait, never mind, he died. Yep, he dies <laughs> as well, but it is all right. They can see he's going to buy some time. He knows he's, he's might gonna fall. But now, speaking of which, the turtle is back onto action. And let's see, will Matt, Matt Bush once again have a hold on the resources? Now, speaking of which, four seconds for the turtle to be spawned. I got the Reaper has the IMU onto Tigro, so that's going to be no implosion for Matt Bush. But, uh, oh, okay, Sanji has to activate the Crimson Beacon in order to survive a very tactical play right there. And I just love that lantern flare. It's really just zoning them out and giving so much information that. Mm -hmm. Exactly now, Koko Quicken comes in through. It's an implosion coming in from JP once Ooh. again. And it's a massive damage! Forcing an OG Shadow Kill, but the Temple's a Blade. Because going to just shut 
Um, Reaper down. Lovely comes into play. Justinian comes back to pick up some more. But it's Kautizi picking up the double kill. Letting off the turtle away for Metals. I think I speak for most of us when I say, how are they still alive? <laughs> Lovely's health just went from full to a little bit, and then a little bit more, and then a little bit, and then he and then he died. But that Team Liquid that initiated that fight so well, it was a textbook hero implosion, catching up so many people from Mad Bulls. But yet, Mad Bulls, the, uh, for the, the the members on the side of Mad Bulls, they had enough tankiness, they had enough bulk in order to survive, and turn the tables onto Team Liquid. It just seems that they didn't have enough items, they didn't have enough resources to swing that fight into their favor. Exactly. This is what they want to do so far because they know they are good into the early game and they knowing that in the Team Liquid's composition in terms of scaling, they need some items to ensure a better fight. So they might just need some time to build it up. But now as we speak, Mad Bull is going to ensure that this game goes into the favor. But now Team Liquid is going to map Whoa, 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 that's a whoa, great whoa, implosion whoa. and penalty zone coming in through and now Benecute is going to shock the Reaper off but now eventually Team Liquid might just play out so well into the game Lightning Balls from Maniac but it's coming through with the pull by um, Sanji over here but here Maniac <laughs> was able to take him down Sanford goes down he goes to go for more and it's a double kill by Maniac eventually still but Tempus of Play might just popped up not yet but now, Benacuti secures another kill. If I had a dollar every time Team Liquid lost a team fight that looked so well in your favor, I'd have two dollars. It's not a lot, <laughs> but the fact that it has happened twice already just shows how confident Metbulls are in surviving the onslaught from Team Liquid. Our Team Liquid, they do have, like, uh, 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 as I said before, they don't really have anything that can chunk down the HP like, like uh, efficiently. Like, for example, with the Demon Hunter Sword or maybe even the, the first helmet. So, if Team Liquid initiates, they need to find a better way to cut down Mad Bulls before they can regain their HP. Exactly. Now, it is time for them to play with the Turtle Dance right here. A little bit of pull coming in through, forcing out the Primer's Wrap and Penalty Zone comes into action. Oh, Implosion yes. comes in through and it's once again Team Liquid gains the advantage. JP takes the Turtle and double kill over to Carl TZ. John is don't, it's not left alone. Pulls up as he fuses out the, the Purify but eventually falls to the Goats once again. If I had a dollar, <laughs> every time Team Liquid won a team fight that was set up so well, I'd have one dollar. But I have a feeling that I'll be getting many more dollars very soon. Now, as, as I've said before, they didn't really have the means to chunk down the HP, but slowly but surely as the game goes on, this, oh is, my. Not, this is just not... Oh, oh, oh my uh, god. I Reaper, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, good right, Reaper, but it's... Is... Okay, okay, yeah. Oh my god, lovely! Champion is down by the side of Benecute, and now Tempest of Play coming in through, trying to take, take down Maniac, but Kautis is life too low, and he just flies away safely, Whoa. and now he comes in, penalty zone, makes the play, and it's mega kill for Benecute, pulls back, Maniac gets a double by Benecute. Well, that... I, 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 I swear, the update to the Crimson Beacon where you don't require any mana to cast your Lantern Flare while the Crimson Beacon is active is just oh. so good. We saw how, how long Sanji had his, uh, had his Crimson, uh, yeah, had the Lantern up for, and they, they could do nothing. Mammals could do nothing but run, and run as they might, they were just caught because Sanji didn't really have to worry about the mana being drained away. Yep, exactly. When the ultimate has been spent out, it's gonna be some huge pooling, um, un unlimited pooling so far, but Sanji is gonna get solo queue potentially over there, but he eventually gets pulled back! An approacher coming in through! Justinian's down! Oh my goodness! This has not gone well for the ninja! Oh my goodness! How did he survive, Sanji? On the brink of death! had no ultimate, had maybe like two friends with him, had nothing to keep him alive, and yet, he just walks away. 
Now this is something that Matt Boom was notorious for doing for the past few team fights, and now Sanji just said, "Yep, I can do that too," and then he did it. Wow, oh I, I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I am speechless right now. Oh my goodness! But now it is mistakes after mistakes, and Team Liquid. They thought. I mean, Matt Boom initially thought they can do it. They can do it, but they're no. Team Liquid, as Liva, as I said, they composed so well. Now, Conceal Play might just gonna break some plays here. Maniac gets pushed, and an implosion Ooh. comes in. In effect, Godlike for Penta QT, legendary for Carl TZ. Now comes in the Tempest of Play. Penalty Zone ensures the demise for Reaper, and it's coming through. Lovely fit chunked out. Don't, cannot survive. And it's now Sand for Pace's life, but eventually left two members against the four. Uh, there's gonna be two members against an onslaught of minions. That's something that Mabels did to Team Spirit, but now it's being done to them. Slowly but surely, it is coming in. And right now, Team Liquid, they do have the advantage in the team fight. Uh, as I said, uh, Team Liquid now has the way to chunk down the HP. It's going to march straight into their base, but I think they have to of no, nope, not yet, because there's still a tier 1 lore for them, but it's lovely because Chunked once again! Implosion comes in once again, infects, and it's double kill over to Call of triple kill as well! Can pick it up, the Maniac, and the Savage potentially! OG oh, Shadow trying to buy some time, eventually for more! Call of TZ with but just yeah! super Savage! For the first Savage! For one expect um, Supernova Tournament, and it's game number two with the amazing victory by Team Liquid PH. That was so amazing. Just when we thought that it could not be ended, Team uh, Liquid just said, Nah, I win. And then they pushed it straight in, called out the mistake by Lovely, locked him aside. The rest of Nebels came 